extremely, ultimately stupid act. A South Florida teen found out he will spend more than a decade in prison for accidentally shooting and killing one of his friends. It was a heartbreaking day in court for both families where the judge sent a clear message to teens about guns. Good evening. Once again, I'm Juwan Strader. And I'm Jackie Nesprall. Let's get right over to NBC6 investigator Willard Shepard live in Miami where it all tragically started almost two years ago. Willard. Yeah, that's right, Jackie. Tragedy all the way around and heartbreak for both of these families. This all unfolded here in this apartment building here behind me. Uh, the family had rented an apartment here for a then 17-year-old young man. He had his friends over. They were coming here to have a good time. Then a gun went off, and now today, the young man who fired it, he found out he'll be going to prison for 11 years and six months. Thrill-seeking, uh, something that has followed him throughout his young life. Tuesday's court session brought pain for Theus Alavera's family. They found out the 19-year-old will be behind bars for what will probably amount to the next decade. I lost my person. For Area Gray's family, this was the latest day in the heartbreak that never ends. I was there that night. It was the most traumatizing thing. Area's sister, Sasha, addressed Judge Teresa Pooler. Sasha ended up calling 911. In exclusive interviews with NBC6 before the sentencing, Area's mother told us. Oliveira needed to go to prison and not to a boot camp, as his lawyers were suggesting. Justice would be bringing her back, but obviously I can't do that. So I think justice for me would be just to teach that person that killed her a lesson. In court Tuesday, Maria Gray didn't hold back. You killed my daughter then. You, you're a murderer, and that's what you are. And you will always be a murderer. Judge Pooler said it was no accident. I hate to use the word stupid, but by this extremely, ultimately stupid act, a major upheavals have occurred in people's lives that will live with them forever. I don't find this to be an accident. The families wanted privacy after the hearing, and the Gray's lawyers spoke. This is something that needs to go out to the rest of the world. Don't play with guns. Don't pick them up. Don't put your finger in the trigger. Do not point them. Don't do anything with them. Now, the lawyer for Mr. Oliveira told the court that he hoped the day would come when Oliveira's mother could actually meet with Ms. Gray, give her condolences. And there's just so much uh, pain between both of these families. The judge sending a clear message to all teenagers in South Florida. If you see a gun, simply leave it alone. Call the police. Don't touch it. She says all of this could have been avoided. We're live in Miami tonight. Willard Shepard, NBC6 News. All right.